Hi everybody and welcome back to another villager hunting video. Today as you can see I'm stood outside of this rather gorgeous house and if you didn't know it does belong to none other than Miss Penis Hands herself, Coco. By the way if you are the person that pointed that out to me I can't unsee it so thank you very much but that isn't the reason I'm going to be getting rid of her today. She was one of my first five villagers so she's got one of the starter houses, the ones where you have to make the furniture for them and I just don't really think it fits her personality that great. I am quite picky anyway with what my villagers houses look like especially when I'm gifting them stuff so to me it was a little bit annoying so I have decided that she is going to move on and I'm going to find someone to replace her so I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> So it is the next day and the plot is finally free which means we can start our hunt soon. Today I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 tickets all together and I am hoping to find one of the following three villagers. The first one is Chrissy because if you watch my previous video you'll know I already have Francine on my island. Secondly Judy because she just gives off bad bitch vibes and thirdly the really cute Silvana because she's just really sweet. Oh well whilst I'm on my way to the airport I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek at the entrance that I've been working on over the past few days. If you want to see any videos to do with building and stuff then just let me know in the comments below but otherwise let's get started. Okay island number one let's see who we've got in here shall we. One world that stops talking. Just talking shit! I've heard it all before. Catch some bees, chop some trees, hurry up. Okay, I'll see mouse ears. It's definitely a mouse. And it is Limburg, who appears to have been here for a long time. He's got some stubble going on. Unless that's just my awful eyesight. That's really sad. And he's also quite scary, so you better be prepared to grow a full beard because I am leaving you behind right about now. Island number two. And not Nox again. I told him on my last hunt when I met him that he looked like a bellend, and that still stands. This island doesn't seem half bad. Well, I'll tell you what is that outfit. It was a very questionable choice, especially for someone who is looking for a new home. And your home is not going to be on my island because I don't own a castle. Island number three, and how many times do I have to tell this goddamn weird clown dog that he is not welcome on my island? I think I've found him over ten times, and I really don't like him. He is one of the worst dogs on the game. And we are on to island number four. Is it normal to be losing the will to live this early on in a hunt? Oh, and Rocco just nearly ended up with cherries on his head. It's fine because he's really weird looking. And this Tor. Tor, what do you think you are? Some sort of celebrity. I wouldn't pay to meet you. And we are on to island number five. And this is Miss... Pango, who I definitely saw from the plane, she is that bright, but I can't deny she is stunning and I'm liking the colours, but she's not really my type of villager, but either way, a bad bitch. Island number six, who have we got? Felicity. Okay, I had Felicity on my old island where I had all cats and she kind of just pissed me off. I can't even tell you why. I think it's just her attitude, she's a bit of a goody two-shoes compared to like Kitty and Olivia who are kind of mischievous. So we're going to say bye Felicia to Miss Felicity. On to island number seven. And we have Tank. Now Tank was the first to arrive on my island with Pashmina and he was the first to leave because I couldn't wait to see the back of him. He's just so arrogant and annoying. You should really try and forget about me, honey. Yeah, you can get back to surviving because you're going to be here for a very long time and I'm going to get back to hunting for a bad bitch. And island number eight, who do we have on here? An elephant. A quite bright red elephant. 
Uh, oh my god, I didn't expect you to sound like that. To be honest, I can see it now. I can see the, the mohawk and the jacket kind of fits with the deep voice. But for an elephant, I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna sneak off before he beats me up. So we are on to island number nine, and it, it is Spike. I see a lot of villagers wearing that gold t-shirt. I don't know what it is about it. It looks kind of cheap. It looks like something that like Primark sold a few years ago. Uh, and I'm not about that. So I'm gonna go. Island number 10. Does anyone find that when they get these kinds of islands where you have to keep climbing, they always get the worst villagers? And you've just proven my point. What's going on with your mouth? There's something wrong with that. Tad, you're more than a tad ugly. You're definitely more than a tad hideous. But you're going to be a tad lonely because you're not coming home with me. And I think we're on to island number 11. Rhonda. Hmm. When I first started playing, I thought, how iconic. She is the most colour coordinated character I've ever seen. She's got purple hair, purple eyeshadow, a purple dress. What more could I gasp for? Then I realised how fucking irritating she is. Number 12. Um, I don't actually know who this is. Buzz. I don't really have much to say about him. He's not the worst. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not keeping him. Because we don't do male villagers. Okay, island number 13. And I think I'm going to need my ladder for this one. It's a duck. A green duck in a jumper with very wide eyes. Are you on drugs? Are you fucking on drugs? Look at the arch on those eyebrows. Hey, I'm Drake. You didn't make a friend. I've spoken to you once. And I'm leaving you here. So we are definitely not friends. You're on crack. We went to island number 14 and there is an emo horse with very red eyes. Roscoe. I think the name Satan would have suited you better. What I don't understand is why these villagers all act like they know who we are. Like, where did they get that information from? Who told you about me? Stop bitching. Number 15, a bamboo island. And it is Maya. I think that's how you say her name? Maya. She's constantly giving everyone the side eye. She's definitely giving me bad bitch vibes with the little red bob. And the green eyeshadow. I feel kind of bad leaving her behind, but she's not for me. Island number 16, and I know this is going to be a waste of effort climbing all the way to the top of here. Oh, Sky. She's actually quite cute. I'm not a huge fan of the wolf characters, but if I was going to take any, then it would definitely be her. And I like the little jumper too. Let's have a photo with her. No, she's not having any of it. I think she's a little bit camera shy. Come on, come forwards a little bit. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, stay there. <laughs> she's just closed her eyes, she's not interested. Oh, she joined in. Um, we're only on island number 16, so I think I'm going to keep going, but I'm glad that we have found someone half decent. It's given me a little bit more hope, so hopefully we are going to find more good villages from here. Island number 17, and it's Simon, who I despise. It looks like he's wearing like a red mask, like he's trying to be some like rip-off superhero. 
My little brother said that he's really cute, but I'm just not seeing it. I just think he's a bit strange. And island number 18, we have Cube. I always remember Cube because he has very distinct eyes. I'm not really sure what they were going for with that design, so if anyone knows, then feel free to comment it down below. I'm not really getting it. If they were square, then I'd understand because he's called Cube, but no, I don't get it. 19. Another penguin. I'm pretty sure I found this one last time. He's called Puck, yeah. Ah, there's someone on this island. I'm Puck. Great. No, you're not who we're looking for. Goodbye. And we're on to number 20. Who is that? He looks quite similar to Knox, but he's an eagle. Sterling. Um, again, I don't get the whole costumes. Like, I don't get villagers that I've designed already wearing costumes. If I wanted to dress them up like knights, then I would, but I don't. Island number 21. We've got a kangaroo in a spotty dress. Carrie. Whoever named her is definitely a dad, and I bet they found it really funny that she's carrying a baby, so they're going to call her Carrie. But I just find it a little bit freaky that the baby moves exactly the same as the mum. Very strange behaviour. 22. I can never find villages on these islands. Like, where are they? Oh, behind the tree. Chester. I think we're birthday twins. I think he was born on August the 6th as well. He's reasonably cute, but he's not who we're looking for, so I'm going to have to go. Island 23. Another animal wearing this gold top. I bet I sound so unenthusiastic when I'm doing these, but if anyone's ever been on a villager hunt, which if you play Animal Crossing, then you should have, then you'll know exactly how I feel. And onto island number 24, another one where we've got to climb. And it is a kangaroo. Walt. Oh, I only just realised that the male kangaroos don't have babies in their pouches, which I feel like is pretty self-explanatory, but I don't think I'd want him carrying my baby around. He looks kind of dangerous. He's just watching me like, I am going to kill you in your sleep. And I believe him. So I gotta run. And we're on to number 25, another Money Rock Island. It's just a shame I didn't come here in search of money. And it is a mouse that I believe is called Rod. Yeah, Rod. Isn't there also a Rodney? Rodney's the ugly one. But he's actually pretty cute. I always feel like the mouse characters are a little bit out of proportion. They've got very big heads and ears and small bodies. But he's actually not the worst. Number 26. It's a frog. With a moustache. Gusto? Gusto? I don't really know how you pronounce that, so just don't question me. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So he's obviously named after someone French. Because French people eat frogs' legs, which is disgusting. 27. I thought it was that elephant again. But no, it's Octavian. In that horrid top. I'm about to start a petition to get these villagers some nice clothes. Because I feel like half the time I would pick certain villagers if they weren't wearing awful outfits already. And by awful outfit, I mean that gold top. Island 28. And it's a disproportionate mouse. Green mouse. Annie Cotty. She kind of reminds me of like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Cannoli. Should I say cannoli? I don't even know what that is. Now we're on to 29. And I hate Sprocket. 
When I first started playing, he was one of the villagers that auto filled my plots because I didn't realise I had to go and hunt. And I think since then I've had some like deep rooted hatred for him. He's just so irritating, he just wouldn't leave. So I'm going to leave if I can actually get out of here. And somehow we're already on to island number 30 already, but at the same time I am exhausted. We've got Annabelle, who is very well dressed for the occasion in her best holiday outfit. Better than that gold top. She's actually quite nice colours. I see a bit of pink with the orange. I'm a fan. I like that. But we've got to keep going. We're on to island number 31. And this horse is giving me very feminine vibes. Ed. I like your name a lot. I think he's trying to flirt with me. I might be gay, but I'm not into animals. Oh. I mean, you're very fashionable. It's not my type. 32. And we've got a climb. Who's it going to be? A bear. And a checkered shirt. Ooh, grizzly. Very fitting name for a bear. He doesn't look very scary though. He doesn't look very grizzly, does he? Oh, now he does. The only bear that I really liked was Megan. In fact, tell a lie, I actually like Tutu as well, but her and Megan don't really fit the criteria for my island. They're kind of a little bit too innocent. They don't really fit in that well. 33. And we have that bird again. Buzz. <sighs> are we at the point where we're just going to keep getting repeats now? Because if we are, then I'm just going to head home now and I'm going to let Tom Nock do his thing with the plot. Because I'm not sure I can deal with getting the same villages over and over again. Island 34. And I think that is my girl Olivia. I've missed you. I had Olivia on my old island, and if I haven't mentioned it like a hundred times already, I used to have all cats, which is why I hate Felicity so much. I quite like Olivia. I've seen some funny quotes on like Tumblr and stuff where she's talked about burning Goldie's house down, so I feel like we have to stand. She's got that attitude that my island needs. Look at her, she's just, she's just loving the attention. Oh, she joined in. Those eyes though, they're like snake eyes. I'm gonna go, but I love you Olivia, and we will be reunited one day. One, two, thirty-five, and we have a bird with a red head on top. Gladys. I actually thought it was a boy because of the outfit. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but the name Gladys just screams like old granny to me. And she's not really giving me old granny, she's giving me like tomboy. But I don't know, I'm not keen. And run to 36. Speaking of old hack, that's that mouse that looks like an old granny. Greta, you went a little bit too heavy on the blush today, didn't you? But the baby hairs are laid, the sideburns are definitely there, and the edges are snatched, so we like it. But unfortunately my island's not currently looking for a grandma figure, so you're going to have to stay here. 37, I've been doing this for like over an hour now. really getting right up the crap in my ass. I wouldn't piss on her if she burst into flames. I've already told you, you are hideous. I'm pretty sure that plaster is from where I beat you up for wearing that horrid t-shirt. And we've been here, done that. I am not interested in you. Goodbye. Get me out of here right now. God, if I could run quicker. Island 38. 
Oh my god. Is that the bear that looks like Carol Baskin? Paula. Wow, you really missed an opportunity to call her Carol. Then she probably would have sued you after, so I guess she had the right idea. She's giving me hippie vibes. Like the little bead thing across her forehead. Very hippie and very weird. I'm getting out of here before I end up like her husband. Island number 39. And we've got the ring. I might complain about the characters that have costumes and that, but I don't particularly mind ones like her and Tangy and Ketchup that are designed to be like food. I think it's actually quite cute and she's got a nice colour scheme. But I've had it before and she's a little bit boring, so not today. 40. Money Rock Island again. Aww. I don't think I've ever met you before, Lucy. Creepy eyes. Staring right into my soul. But we're not half bad. I'm determined to find one of the three we're looking for though, so we're gonna keep going. Island foot no, I'm not doing it. On two forty two. Oh I hate this creature. Who even designed him? He looks like a teacher. And I hate his hair. Hippo. Wow. No, we should probably not stick together. You should probably get away from me now. Before I call the police. 43. Oh, I hate lions. I might as well just say I hate everyone. Because that's what I basically do. But Mott. Wow. There is absolutely nothing that I can pick out about you that I like. KG. Wow, that's deep. I'm going. Au revoir. And island 44 is a goat. Green goat. Gruff. I actually find you weirdly cute. I'm liking the eyelashes. I'm assuming that's because of the Billy Goat's grill. Very clever. You might be cute, but you're still a little bit creepy and I don't think you'd fit on my island very well. And number 45. Oh, a unicorn. I think we've just found a boyfriend for Ed, was it, that was flitting with me earlier? The very flamboyant feminine horse. I'm going to set these two up. He's talking about glitter, so he's definitely gay. I want to take a photo of him. Oh, look at him sashaying. Work it. Oh, and he stood still for his close-up. Very iconic. However, I don't think we could cope with you on my island. So we're on island 46 already. Um... Anchovy. Nice to meet you. That curtain sort of hairstyle is not in fashion anymore, which is probably why you have ended up spending your time here. Goodbye. Okay, we're on to island number 47 now. I am losing the will to live very quickly. Who is this? Kurt. I don't believe we've met. No, actually, I don't think we have met before. I can't tell if he's designed to have like a stripe around his mouth, or whether it's a moustache. He actually looks reasonably cute. Um, he's just not really my style of villager, and I kind of feel like we've come too far to just take anybody. And we're on to 48. And it's another goat. Billy. Oh, okay, so we just had Garof, and now we've got Billy. So I'm assuming they kind of come as a pair. Billy goats, Garof. Talking about abs. That's really off button. You're weird. So, Island 49 is Bones. Sweet. For once, it is a villager that I don't hate. 
I like how I'm saying R, but if anyone else called me their friend, I'd be like, go away, don't talk to me. But he's cute, so we'll let him off. And we're halfway through my 100 tickets, Island 50, and it's Savannah. I think she's the only zebra in the game. She's quite pretty. I'm liking the colours. I'm not overly convinced, so I think I'm going to go. And we're on to island number 51. Let's hope this half is better than the first half. Oh, and it's the one, the only, Pom Pom. She's just really cute. <laughs> oh. I love meeting new folks, aka new fans. She's a bit of a diva, really, isn't she? I want to get a photo with her. Oh, she decided she's hiding behind the tree. Don't feel overwhelmed, I'm just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> you got a camera? Could have took a picky, couldn't you? Would have charged you. <laughs> she's just not paying me any attention. She's just like, no photos please, no paparazzi. And now she wants to walk in a circle to where I was trying to take the photo. Well, I'm going to bid you farewell, Pom Pom, you really are a diva. Island 52. And I see a crocodile over there. I've not really found many crocodiles. Boots. Wow, you really drew the short straw with that outfit, didn't you, Boots? You look like you belong in a circus. But I suppose it's better than wearing that same gold t-shirt that everyone else is wearing. So, really, it's not that bad. Bye, Boots. And we're on to island number 53. Hello, Candy. I'm pretty sure I've met you before. Because I've commented on the fact that your cheeks look like you've got two giant pimples that need a good squeeze. And I'm sorry to have to say it, but I'm not overly keen on you. And if I'm correct, we're on to island number 54. And we have that koala that looks like a secret agent, Eugene. I'm sure someone posted in a Facebook group that if you take his sunglasses off, he's got really tiny eyes underneath. And I don't think all of the girls on my island would be a fan of you spying on them. So we're leaving you and your fuckboy beard behind. Island 55. And i got to climb all the way up here just to see who it is. Wow. He's a bigger disappointment than me. I fucking hate them! <laughs> Harry. Wow. You really went to town with the moustache. Questionable design. I really need to have a word with Nintendo. Island 56. Who have we got on here then? Octavian again. I don't know why I've even wasted my time coming over here to talk to you. And don't introduce yourself to me like you don't know who I am when we literally met like a couple of hours ago. Finding you on every other island on every single hunt I go on is getting tiring. Number 57. Ah, Opal. She's cute. I'm liking it. She's she's quite fashionable. I'm liking the little top tied around the waist. And the fringe. Obviously she's called Opal because she's green. I'm not that dumb. And the purple eyeshadow with the little winged eyeliner. Bad bitch vibes all over. And we are up to island number 58. And I'm wasting my time climbing all the way up here again. For the likes of this monkey. Who are you? What is your name? Pee wee. Ooh. I'm not sure what name I expected, but it was definitely not Pee wee. <laughs> island number 58. And we are getting creatures like that. Can you imagine the look on Jambet's face if I bought that monster home? Yeah, me neither. And island number 59. Who have we got over there in the distance? Oh wow, you look like you've not slept in months. Rolf. I wish I could take you home because you look like you need a nice warm bed to sleep in. Because sleeping out here is doing you no good. I feel kind of bad. Like, from far away I thought it was Bianca and then he turned around and I saw the eyes and I was like, whoa. 
you are not Bianca. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you are very sleep deprived. Uh, island number 60. Oh no, not the emo horse again, please. You know, she wound up looking like the devil himself. I escaped with my soul last time and he is going to take my soul for real this time. And I'm just not really sure that lifestyle is for me, like I'm not into worshipping Satan or like the Grim Reaper, I'm not into that type of shit so I'm about to get out of here. Okay, island number 61. Ah, he looks like he's scared, like he's hiding in the corner. Gunzo. He also looks like a little old man, but I don't hate it. I think since I found Melbourne my first hunt, the koalas have slowly been growing on me. For a while they were like going under the radar because I was so obsessed with the cats and the bunnies, but I like them. And island number 62, we have Benedict. He's got very straight eyebrows. Straighter than me. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about him, but it doesn't really matter anyway, because he's staying here. Island number 63, and I think it's about time we found one of my dreams. Or, the complete opposite, we could just find someone we've ran into already on this hunt. Castal. Great to meet you. Acting like he hasn't seen me, like, a few hours ago. If I have to hear wee wee one more time, I'm going to scream. Goodbye. Island 64. And it is Molly. Ugh. I get so stressed when I come across villages that I'm tempted to keep. And they're not one of my dreamies. <sighs> well, we've still got like 36 tickets left. So there's a chance we could find one of the three that I'm actually looking for. So we'll get a photo with her anyway. If she wants to have a photo. Ugh. Hmm. Is she gonna come over? Oh. Come on. Oh, that will do. You can just stand there. Oh, I love when they do the reactions too. Very sweet. Well, I'm gonna go now, Molly. But it's been a pleasure to meet you. And I hope I meet you again soon. Goodbye. And we're on to island number 65. Time for me to regret leaving Molly behind. Yes. I do regret leaving her already. Cody. I'm sure Cody left one of my friend's islands and I had a free plot. And he decided he was going to just move himself in and make himself at home. So that is the main reason why I dislike him so much. That and he is kind of ugly. Number 66, and it sounds like the perfect talent for us to find one of my dreams. No, apparently not. Avery. I don't believe we've met. He's got a very unique pattern. And he looks like he's wearing blue eyeshadow. Hmm, very interesting. I don't know why I set make noises like I have any intention of keeping them when I know for well I'm just about to walk out of here in a few seconds. <laughs> Island number 67. Wow, they're really making me work for these villagers today. Aww, I've forgotten your name. Daisy. She's very cute. She's lacking something around the eye area. And her eyes look sort of like squares to me. But I like the little like dip dye on the ends of the ears. Very fashionable. Very cute. Number 68. Oh. You're not who we're looking for. But I've forgotten your name. Stella. Now I'm trying to work out why you're called Stella. Because Stella makes me think of space maybe. And I feel like there's probably some really obvious reason why you're called that that's staring me in the face. But I just can't think of what it is, so... Island number 69. And we've got a lion with green hair. Leopold. Well, I'm sorry, Leopold, but you're not really appealing to me. The jumper looks cosy, but the glasses look kind of small. They were 25,000. 
so I'm sorry about that. But you're just not really my cup of tea. And we're getting to the part of the hunt where I'm starting to get worried because I'm not sure I can commit to any more than 100 tickets. Island number 70. And they're making my fat, lazy ass climb again. I just don't do exercise. Oh my god. Oh my god. Judy. Have we actually just found Judy? Can I just say, it's about time! Oh my god. She's just as cute as I thought she was going to be. I'm always down to dish, darling. But I didn't expect anything less from a bad bitch like you. Let's have a photo. Oh, and she's facing the other way. That is the exact type of behaviour I expected from her. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Ooh. Oh, I'm feeling very relieved. We need to just ask her to come home with us so we can get this over and done with. Because I'm exhausted. Come to my island. Yes, I said I'm from Imperia. Oh. Yes, she's moving. Best decision ever. Yeah, you better. I will be seeing you on my island tomorrow, no later. Oh, <laughs> she's just so sweet. Right. I can't stop looking at her. We need to go. We're going, Judy. I will see you tomorrow, where you will be the newest member of Imperia. So that's it. The plot is sold, and all that's left to do is wait for my good sis Judy to move into her brand new home. And I know she's just going to love it here with the rest of the bad bitches we've got on this island. So we will see her tomorrow. Oh, her house is blue. Very nice. I like it. Let's go and see what she's up to. I'm excited. Oh, there she is, sweeping away. Hi Judy, I'm sorry to disturb your hard work. No, you didn't waste any time. What a charming island this is. Wow, she's been here two minutes and she's already licking my ass. I love it. We should start talking each other's ears off. You sound like my kind of girl. We're going to be bitching about Renee before you know it. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.